Hi, it's Big Baby. Um, checking in for today. Um, I told you guys yesterday that I were um, well, I was going to show some pictures of my tummy tuck. Um, so I just got through taking a shower, and before I finish putting my dressing on and have wrestled with this uh, compression garment, I'm going to go on and do that and get it out the way. Um, if you're not of age, please know that you should not be watching this. I'm not nude, but at the same time, I'm not fully clothed. Um, but I'm going to show you my um, incisions. If you can see, um, my scar starts from my breast, right under my breastbone, and goes straight down uh, my stomach to the top of my um, pelvic area. Um, it's healing pretty good. I'm really swole on my sides and um, a little in this area and I noticed well it was that time of the month I'm kind of going off now so um, that's part of the swelling. Um, this is the side view you can see down here this is swole this will have to come off with my breast reduction and uh, lift when they do that. Um, my scar from my hip to hip is healing very nicely. It starts here and it goes around to the front um, right under my belly but above it runs like the bikini line, I guess. Um, if you had kids and had cesarean, you know how that goes. Um, that's healing pretty good as well. I don't know how well you can see it. And it goes all the way around to the other side. Um, it's not raised up that much, so that's a good thing. Um, it's not sore. Again, I got swelling in this area right here and right here, which you can see. Um, I just drunk some water a little while ago too, but um, I had to wash my compression garment last night, so I had that um, wrap on, and I like my compression garment more because it helps with the swelling, and I've been on my feet today. So I did notice the more that I'm up and doing things around the house, just a little light work, that I, I tend to swell a little more. And again, I have some bloating going on too, but it looks better than it did because this used to hang way down here. If you can see, down here. And it's not there. That's flat. There's nothing there. And I have a belly button in there now. I didn't have that before because I had a hernia when I was a baby and it was just a straight line. Um, but I'm not going to uh, be undressed for too long because like I said I don't like to um be out because the longer that you don't have your dressings or your compression garment on the more swelling you get so I'm going to talk to you guys while I do this um, as I stated a couple of days ago I really don't have a lot of pain um, most of my discomfort now comes from the actual um, tubes, my drainage tubes. So that's what causes me the most discomfort right now. Um, other than that, it actually is better than I thought it was going to be. I mean, I do have a high pain tolerance, but as far as needing to take um, the pain medications that were prescribed for me, which were Percocets, which is not one of the strongest medications that I take, because I take um, some other pain medicines for my herniated disc that I have on my back. Um, if you've looked at my other videos, I think I may have mentioned that I have like eight herniated discs. And um, that was part of me, the reason for the surgery, to help with my back and arthritis that I have in my pelvic and both of my hips. Um, and it, it, it is working. Um, I don't have a pain-free day, but I have uh, better days than I had before. So that's a plus. Um, 
and I also had high blood pressure which um, lately has been pretty good um, when I was getting out of the bed and doing a little more than I should have been doing maybe like 10 days after surgery or seven days after surgery my blood pressure was starting to go up just a little bit um, but at the same time I was running a fever because again I was doing something I shouldn't have been doing but I like to stay busy so it's kind of hard to sit or lay on your back all day every day I just never been a lazy person even getting injured years ago at work and having to stay off the job from like well five years let's just say that and I uh, I couldn't work I couldn't do anything um, a lot of doctors appointment I've had physical therapy for since 2004 I want to say and I still have physical therapy uh, because um, we have herniated this even if you lose weight it doesn't go away um, you have to have surgery to have them repaired and that's just something I'm not going to do I'd rather have lost the weight try to get healthy and get the weight off of my back so um, that was mainly my plan and I've done that um, that's another reason for the uh, breast reduction because I have those herniated discs in my back and they do cause pain every day but I can say that I'm, I'm, I'm doing a lot better than I was a year ago. Um, I have arthritis in both my knees as well. So, um, you know, I had underlying health issues and a body mass index of 58.1. So when people used to ask me how much I weigh, I would tell them two adults and a nine-year-old. So, so far, I've lost the adult and I'm just an adult and maybe a four year old now um, but again that's only because I want to lose maybe another 15 pounds possibly basically in the fat area um, I've learned that I'm a hippie woman my hips aren't going anywhere so maybe the thighs will disintegrate a little bit or something because that's really the only thing bothering me excuse me I um, was putting everything back the way that it needed to be so that I can um, get this swelling under control and um, so that's what's going on with me today um, I was doing some thinking and um, today is three weeks so it's been three weeks since I had my tummy tuck and in those three weeks uh, my relationship has ended um, I've quit my job that I had. I only worked temporarily, but I ended up letting that go as well. Um, because other than that, I would have been trying to go to work. And I'm not supposed to work for like six weeks. But, um, however, that's a good thing. The end of the relationship, good thing too. Um, shit happens. Excuse my language. I'm just going to be blunt. Excuse me. Um, like I said, today I had a good day. Um, I really can't wait to go to the doctor Saturday so he can tell me possibly um, when I can go back to the gym. I know that's a little soon, but I need to get to work on these arms because that's my biggest downfall. This extra mist that's going on here. And unfortunately, unless I want to pay for that myself, it's going to be there unless I work a little harder and tighten it up. Um, other than that, I really don't have a lot of loose skin. The majority was in the arms and in the belly area. I have a little bit in my thighs, but I can tighten that up too. So, really just not going to the gym is affecting me mentally. Because I'm used to going to the gym like four or five days a week for three to four hours at a time. And I haven't been to the gym in uh, a month. Even though I had surgery three weeks ago I hadn't been to the gym in a month because the week before I had surgery my mother passed away and I think I may have went to the gym twice during that week uh, but other than that I had to get you know things together and get her stuff done so 
I kind of put that on hold. Um, so like every day that go by, I'm, I'm like stressing because I'm not at the gym. Um, I, I getting away and going to the gym really like help me relax mentally, physically, spiritually, all of that. I don't know why it's just relaxing for me to go to the gym. It's like eating your favorite potato chips or your favorite piece of chocolate. I like going to the gym working out. And if you have um, a goal set, it kind of becomes addictive. And so that's what the situation is with me. Going to the gym is very addictive and I like going. Plus, I like the results I get afterwards. Um, these tools, I'm telling you, man, they, they irritate me as I don't know what. I would have rather probably had them in my belly area than in my pelvic area. Uh, plus, I'm missing wearing jeans. I'm, you know, I'm a female, but I like dresses, but I love jeans better for some reason. I don't know why, but, you know, whatever. To each his own. But anywho, um, I rearranged my closet today. Very light work. Not a lot uh, with the relationship. And then now my walk-in closet is all mine. Yay, me. Um, basically, I just... um ready to have my three week checkup Saturday and get some good news hopefully he'll be removing these other true drainage tubes and then t tonight I was getting ready to take my shower so I had to uh, measure and empty and I spilt one of them knocked it over on the dresser and it ran across the dresser fell all on top of the carpet and in the carpet and uh, you wouldn't believe I bought some carpet cleaner from the Dollar Tree. That stuff works awesome. I mean, like, uh, man, that stuff works real good to get blood up out the carpet. And I don't know if you can see, but my carpet right there on the floor, I still got the little tile right there. You can't even tell that there was blood on the floor. And like I said, I bought this stuff called carpet cleaner something from the Dollar General and it, it works. You wouldn't think, but it did. Uh, I'm usually a name brand type of person, but with this economy, hey, you got to get what you can get. <laughs> so, um, and that's the second time I actually spilt some. So, I think I better start doing that in the bathroom. Because um, I don't want my, where I live to be trying to charge me for a new carpet when I decide to move. Um, but, all in all, I've had a good day. The experience in the last two weeks have been up and down a little bit. You know, I had my days where I said I would be extremely tired. Um, today was a good day. I didn't. I haven't taken a nap actually. I've been up since this morning, um, and that's pretty awesome for some effect. I fall asleep at the drop of a hat because of the pain medication, but I haven't been taking that for the last few days, so. I just been taking my regular medications. Um, but if you guys have any questions, and thank you for the two viewers who um, gave me their prayers and condolences for my mother and my sister, and thank you for the uplifting words on my journey. Um, that's a good feeling. You know, I just started making these videos. The first one I made a year ago and didn't realize it for a whole year. I actually forgot about it. So I've been doing it a little regular and I don't have that many people that subscribe and watch the videos videos yet. But I guess because there's so many of the videos out here with the weight loss surgery and the tummy tucks and all that stuff. But hey, it is what it is. It makes me feel good and it helps me keep tabs on my ever changing um, appearance and my journey is something that's recorded for me so I can go back and look or even if I motivate one person to want to get up and be a better them um, not to say some people are happy in their own skin um, the skin I have been in for the last 25 years maybe 30 years it wasn't my skin I outgrew that a long time ago and when I say outgrew I don't mean like grew past it I mean I stretched it and stretched it and stretched it till 
it just it wasn't right um i found myself more happier with me which in itself is a plus um i'm happier with life i'm not going around depressed and thinking i don't look good enough or i'm not good enough for anybody because i feel great for me it's not about a man my decision to do what i did wasn't about a man and it took me to realize that to be happy with what i was about to do and how it's turned out for me because honestly for some reason since i've been uh the size that i am now i find it um uncomfortable sometimes when men stare at me or make comments about certain things like my hips because they stick out so far um and that's something that i'm not used to although i got compliments as a full-figured woman um all the time because i've always dressed nice smelt good kept my hair nails and stuff like that done but for some reason the smaller me finds it a little uncomfortable um, when men look at me stare or pay attention to me i don't know why i don't know if other people have went through that but I don't know maybe I'll get over it by the time the weather breaks I'm in Michigan so who knows when that'll be but anyway that's it for tonight I'm gonna get ready to climb up in my bed and watch some TV and well let princess out princess you got pee pee there's my baby there's my nook nook miss Brown got a pee pee mommy you got a pee pee I gotta go outside so there's my baby the rotten one she's ready to go so we're gonna call it a night and talk to you guys tomorrow stay safe later